Cabernet Mine. It is I, Twyla, and today is Monday, July 12th, 2021. How are y'all doing today? I'm doing great. Um, I just woke up. I got my hot coffee. I actually made too much. It's like 20 ounces, which I don't think I'm going to be able to drink, but I um, just kind of wanted to pick me up because I took my medicine too late last night, and it was so hard to get up this morning. I actually got up at 7, and I, I just had to go back to sleep, so kind of disappointed because I wanted to hit the jam by seven but it's fine I'm going to drink a little bit more of this coffee change into my gym clothes and I'm still gonna go I don't care what time it is I'm still gonna go I went back to my doctor and I was told that now I'm on a strict diabetes diet and I was like what was that what is a strict diabetic diet because she didn't actually tell me what it is okay to eat and what's not okay to eat. So I'm being distracted. My kid is like doing crazy stuff everywhere. Excuse me. He's being naughty. Pocky. He got Pocky should be too naughty. And you got my little naughty girl. Why? Why are you being naughty? I'm trying to do a video. You're distracting mommy. Go, go play. My mother is diabetic. So I was talking to her about it and she was pretty much like, you know, it's low carb, a low carb diet. It's just like, why didn't my doctor say a low carb diet? But whatever, it's fine. Um, and also my child is on the same exact diet now. So both of us are on a diabetic diet and two of my children are not. So it is extremely frustrating making like separate meals, but then everyone's like, just make low carb meals for everyone. But they're not, they're not diabetic or even pre-diabetic. So I'm forcing them to eat low carb I don't know. It seems kind of abusive. <laughs> no, no abusive is not the right word. But I think it's okay for them, like grilled chicken, veggies, and then they can have like fruits and stuff like that. Like they can eat like bananas and apples. But myself and my other kid, a pre-diabetic child, I don't think that that's okay for us because of the carb count and the bananas. Like that would be it for the whole day. And it's so full of sugar, which I, like I said right now, we can't really do too much sugars right now. When I went to the doctor, I was like 320. And of course the doctor was like, you know, whoa. But then when I weighed myself this morning, I got a brand new scale on everything. Cause I, I'm serious about this. I wanted to make sure because I'm, it's pre-diabetes and I don't want it to go full blown. She scared me to death about the insulin for me and my kid. So I went out and got a brand new scale and it said it was 311 this morning. So I was like, I took that with a grain of salt. You know, if it's really 311, great. If not, then, you know, either way, I'm still gonna work and everything. So um, I have some chicken breasts, like the fillets. I'm going to, I have an indoor grill. You've seen me use it before. I'm gonna put it on the grill today. Um, I'm trying to see, I don't think I have any broccoli. I need to go grab a bag of broccoli and my kids actually adore broccoli. I know, weird, right? Without the cheese on it. So, when, when? Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go get the bag of broccoli after the gym, because it's gonna be frozen, probably. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do frozen, because it's just so convenient for the steam fresh. You just throw it in the microwave. So, yeah, grill the chicken, and with the broccoli, that's gonna be lunch. Dinner, I don't know, maybe they'll just use low-carb bread and make, like, um, you know, like maybe like a ham and turkey sandwich or something like that. Um, because I've been trying to make life so much more easy for myself. And that involves cooking one time a day because I can't be in the kitchen all day long. Like I broke my left foot and it's extremely painful. And I have pain all over my body with osteoarthritis. I just started physical therapy. Um, I just started getting treatment for the arthritis in the base of my thumb. The medication I'm taking, the pain pills, it's an inflammation pill is very, very strong. And I actually don't like it because I don't like how it makes me feel. It's way too strong. And um, I'm gonna have to go back and get the cortisone here. I'm not really excited about that because the one on my foot hurt like hell. And it was so temporary, like really, my foot was in so much pain even after that. 
so I'm not really looking forward to that too much. My ADHD is working overdrive. Yeah. And so my um, 14 year old just started taking Vyvanse for ADHD and some other issues that he's been having. But he actually, my um, nine year old found some of the pills on the floor, so he hasn't really been taking it. But um, I say this to say, I wanted to call my psychiatrist today and ask about maybe taking Vyvanse because I was taking Prozac and that Prozac made me feel disgusting. Like I gained a lot of weight. When, when a lot of people it causes weight loss, but me, I gained so much weight. Not only did I gain weight, it was making me like manic. Like I was too high and, and just irritable. And I stopped cold turkey. I didn't even tell my doctor. True story. I stopped cold turkey like about three weeks ago and I'm starting to feel better already. I think it's finally starting to get on my system, but I am taking the trileptol at nighttime, 1800 milligrams because uh, just being realistic with myself. I do need something. I know how I feel. I do need something. Um, but I will ask about the Vyvanse because my ADHD is ruining my life. And when I say that, it's like nobody wants to hear me. I'm like, guys, I know my symptoms. I know it's ADHD. Trust me. Why won't they listen to me? We will talk later because I have got to get up and get myself dressed and ready for this jam because I don't want to get out of the mood because I got to start getting back into the groove and the, the mood of going to the gym every day like I used to every single day. Well, except for Sunday. Sometimes even Sundays I would go and do a light workout, but I was like Monday through Saturday, I had to be in the gym. And if I missed one workout, oh, I was so depressed. And I got to start getting back into that groove because if I miss one workout now, it's easy to just say, oh, I'm not going. But I have been, my arthritis has been very bad over my whole body, over my whole body. My hips now, my feet definitely, like I said, my hands, so it's very challenging. Um, yeah, but I'm not going to run a marathon. I'm gonna give myself 45 minutes to an hour on the treadmill and the elliptical, and today's Monday, so I might as well go ahead and do like the leg press. I'm gonna try like Monday, Wednesday, and Friday if I'm doing weights, and the other days just stick to my cardio. And we will go from there. Let me go get dressed and I will see you guys at the gym. check in with you guys um, I'm so proud of myself so far so good um, I've eaten so good today I had like I said my morning coffee I had a smoothie and yes although I do miss my normal fruit that I put in my smoothie I actually enjoy this one I put only berries you know like okay strawberry blueberry raspberry blackberry and a very small amount. And I put a lot of spinach and then I put, um, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I bought these microgreens and I put some microgreens in it. I use a Premier Protein banana shake for the banana flavor. And 
I put spinach and the spinach was frozen. So it was so good and so refreshing. And that was my breakfast drink. For lunch, I had zucchini with a little tiny bit of Alfredo sauce with some rotisserie chicken. And that's all I've eaten so far. I'm just enjoying a small cup of coffee, very small cup before I go take Nicholas to football practice. So we'll see how it goes. They're having workouts in the gym on um, like three days a week. So today would actually be his first day of going. And it's not the actual tryouts yet. It's just them working out with the team. So for me, that's exciting for Nicholas. I don't know if he's excited about it or not, but I am. <laughs> so yeah, um, just like I said, just checking in and now I have to hit the road and take my son up here and have a small chat with the coach before they start and everything. So I will check in with you guys when we get back. Hey, it's me guys. I'm sitting in the car waiting for Nicholas to come out of football and I've just been having so much anxiety. I've already been in and I was I've spoken to the coach and some other people, but I just can't help this anxiety, guys, because it's like we have an autistic child and he doesn't really do things on his own. He's in there in the football field and then the weight room with all these other boys and these coaches and he's never in his life done anything like that. And it's like, he's away from me. Like, you know, we go to the gym together. He and I, we go to Planet Fitness together and it's like, He's working out, he's not with me, and he's around all these people, I'm not there to protect him. I'm feeling some kind of way. Like, you know, like, I feel like, oh my God, he's out there in the world without me. What if they make fun of him? He's autistic. They don't know anything about him or anything about autistic people, and I'm freaking myself out. Like, I cannot wait to go pick him up and ask him how it went. And I hope he doesn't try to lie to me. Like, you know, Ugh, Cause I want him to succeed. I want him to do so good, but I just cry thinking like, are they being kind to my child? Like, ah, it's so stressful. It's so stressful. Like, just wish you guys understood how I feel right now. <laughs> he's okay, right? He's fine, right? I'm stressing myself out and he's fine, right? I'm like the stressed one and he's probably just fine, right? It's fine. I'm really just stressing myself out, <laughs> right? He's playing football for goodness sake. And speaking of football, um, for a while he was about like 6'3", maybe 6'4". I took him to get his physical the other day and they told me he was 6'6". And I'm like, what? He was just 6'4". Why is he growing so fast? He's already in a size 16 and I'm not finding 16s in any stores like I'm gonna have to order his stuff online. I need to go get him officially measured because I'm guessing he's in the 16. I don't even know. But does anybody know where I can even get his foot measured and order a size 16 shoe for football? He's gonna need cleats. He's gonna need shoes for the gym. He needs a lot of things. <laughs> he needs a whole lot of things. I gotta get, I gotta work on this. I got a lot of work to do with him, yeah. But I am so happy and proud that he's getting some exercise because Lord knows he needed it. We all need it. I'm so glad he's around his peers getting it. Like I said, I just hope they're being kind to him. God, <laughs> I have anxiety so bad, you know. Oh, this anxiety, it just wants to consume me and ruin my life so bad. Let me go up here and pick my kid up. <laughs> See you guys in a little bit. long day today and as you can tell I look very tired my makeup is smeared and I just noticed I must frown so much I literally have like a frown line right here look at this <laughs> guys yeah I had a long day I got picked up Nick from football and I had to cook dinner 
and I have a long day tomorrow as well. I need to wash this makeup off before I get too far gone with my sleepiness and go to sleep with a face full of makeup, which we all know is a new, 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 new. So all in all, today was good. Like I said, I stuck to my willpower. I didn't stop at McDonald's. I was craving salty french fries for some reason. My goodness, I don't even know why, but I stuck to my guns and I didn't do it. And I feel much better for it. But like I said, now I'm gonna wash up this makeup and hit the sack. And I will see you guys next Monday. Mwah.